All right, guys, so this is our AND circuit or our AND project. So the demonstration of how it will work is if you press the blue button, nothing happens. If you press the green button, nothing happens. If you press the other green button, nothing happens. But if you press them all at the same time, I'll try to show you, it will turn on our two lights. All right, so pretty simple, nothing for you guys. Uh, again, make sure you stop works in the video and all that. Now again, this uh, tutorial is not a how-to to complete that lab. This is really just me talking about AND circuits for a couple minutes. So let's uh, let's go ahead and make up a basic AND circuit. And again, I just have my extra symbols up here. I mean, my extra instructions up here so I don't have to code them all while you guys are watching. I'm going to do, well, we'll do one rung right now and then I'm going to play with two, okay? So if you want to have two on here, let's say like this, remember, if these both receive an input signal from our buttons, they will become true and they will turn on our output over here, okay? It's pretty simple. Remember that you can put as many of these in line as you would like. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, now, I wanna talk a little bit more about if we take and we have two rungs. So if we had two rungs like this, let's say we wanted to turn both these on. So let's say in the case of a reversing motor control, one output over here would be the forward and one would be the reverse. Well, we wouldn't want the forward to come on when the reverse was on, right? So what we could do is we could start taking and using our, our normally, I'm sorry, examine the if open instructions and we could actually play with these a little bit. So we could again take the the instruction, or I'm sorry, the address from one of ours, and we could put it down on the other rung, and then we could actually take this guy and push it up here, okay? So that way, it's already true right now. As you can see, it's already true. So if we pressed I colon zero slash three, it would go through this one, and it would turn on our output, and then it would make it so that this one was no longer open, or no longer closed. It would become, it would become, um, I'm sorry, open like you say. So um, those are just some of the kind of cool things you could do. There's not a heck of a lot I can show you guys with OR circuits. Um, I'm sorry, with AND circuits. The one thing I do want to point out is if you ever had an OR circuit and you wanted to turn it off, remember we were talking about these, we were talking about making latching bits. Well, if you took your, your guy over here and we turned it into a latching bit, you would need this um, this stop button over here in series or, I'm sorry, in an AND series, and an AND circuit to turn off that circuit. Um, otherwise, there's just not a heck of a lot to, to tell you guys about these. Uh, make sure, like I said, you, you know you can do as many as you want. Um, just know they all will have to be pressed to turn on our output, all right? So go ahead and uh, build the circuit that we displayed for you at the beginning of this uh, video and good luck.